So all I did was take off all of the skin of the cantaloupe. You want to make this early in the day because the cantaloupe should really sit around and you know, marinate at room temperature. I'm going to cut this in half and get rid of these seeds. And then all we want to do is cut this up into pieces, just like that. So I just want to dice up the cantaloupe. And this will not work if cantaloupe is not ripe. So you want to make sure that you have a nice ripe one. So once you have the cantaloupe diced up, then put it into a bowl, a large bowl, because you're going to be tossing this with some other ingredients. And I love it because it is just so refreshing and easy to do. I want to give that a little bit of lemon zest. So a fine zesting of lemon goes in. So there's my zest. And now I want to put a little bit of sugar in. Oh, about a tablespoon of sugar is fine. And then, I like mint with this. And look at this wonderful mint. Actually, this is mint from my friend Donatia. She grew this in her garden. So I want to use fresh mint for this, not mint that is dried, because it will just not have the same flavor. And all I want to do is mince up the mint. There's the mint, and it smells absolutely wonderful. So in that goes. And now I just want to toss that, make sure everything is well blended. And if you wanted to put a little bit of lemon juice in with that, you can, but you don't have to, because the cantaloupe is sweet enough. So that's going to stay off to the side. And now I want to wipe off my board so I can do the next thing for you, which is to get some radicchio ready. And radicchio is a member of the chicory family. So all I want to do is cut this in half. And actually, this comes from northern Italy. You can find this in a grocery store. You can grow it in your own garden. So you want to make some thin shavings of the radicchio. This has a little bitter taste, but you know, with the cantaloupe and the little bit of sugar that I put for the dressing, it's going to be absolutely delicious. So there is the radicchio, and I'm going to put that aside. And now we have to do the other exotic part of this, which is to have some nuts ready. These are hazelnuts. You want to grind them up finely, just like that. And then have ready some goat cheese. Look at this. Caprino, that is called in Italian. And I want to cut the goat cheese up into pieces. And whenever you have cheese like this, which is very delicate, you want to make sure that you're going to be serving this at room temperature. So this is going to serve four people. So get the cheese cut up into disks like that. Then have a piece of wax paper ready. Put those nuts on. And then take the cheese and just coat it in the nuts, just like that. Isn't that neat? You could even toast the nuts ahead of time if you wanted to. Roll them all in the nuts so that they're all well coated. And you can do this part early in the day. Get this part done and put it in the refrigerator if you're having company that night. And then when you're ready to serve this about an hour before, you want to bring this out and let this come to room temperature. Well, I think you get the idea. I'm not going to do all of them for you. But let me show you what that would look like when it is plated. And I take the radicchio and just spread it around the plate, just like that. Makes an excellent salad, very, very colorful and different, and a surprise for your guests. So a little bit of radicchio all the way around the plate. Then take the goat cheese and place them right in the center. I mean, this is really rich. You really don't even need four pieces per person. Two would do it, but I'm going to put four on anyway. And then, when that salad is nicely marinated, the cantaloupe, that is, you take that and you spoon it right around, just like this. It's so refreshing, especially on a very, very hot day. And you could serve this with a little bit of crusty bread. 
And that's all there is to making an insalata with cantaloupe. 